I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. He was Another on the east side wash of his leave. to ruin. It was vandalised sometime last year. Do you know who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. Okay. Huh. All right. So let's Thank exit you. over that. Thank you. Probably be back later. Uh, let's look at the car in the back too. Well, the car in the back is is just a different car altogether. Is it? Mm-hmm. That's why I figured it was those guys because oh, they have like right. ridiculous. Also, <laughs> I enjoy that tremendously. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, I was like, it, it must be them because they have the best car in the town. I gotcha. Mm, I don't know that these guys would know anything about it, but yeah, so far they've been our go-to. I mean, I think we can still ask them about it because we don't know who vandalized the car. If you don't mind. So, good point. It's worth it to be like, did do you, you do this? Do you know anything about these? Nope. Sorry. All right, okay. then. Okay, no, Simon. Thank you. It'd be great if he just goes, nope, <laughs> sorry. Have you seen these before? Mm. No, don't know the car. Don't know the car? You've been going to Alice for how long? Be back later on, if that's okay. All right, all right. Somebody's barfing bullshit. Pretty much everyone in this town, because they're all part of some crazy ass cult. True. Fact. Okay. Are we gonna get to see the cuckoo um, for Cocoa Puffs guy? Is he gonna show up like it's the <laughs> sweet Smeagol? I hope so. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. All right, let's hit him with this. Yeah. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course. Very strange girl. And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well, she was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she she took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I have no idea. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. Uh, the run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't oh, oh, really? Oh. Right. Thank you. That was a Oh, my God. We just got a lot of stuff. Can I? Yeah. Huh? Huh? I don't think there's anything on here. It's like, it's got that symbol, and up here... Uh, he says that the symbol isn't used on the course, but I don't know. But he how knows to... what it is. He knows what it is. But why would why would a person who is in the course know that symbol and spray it on a car if it's not used in the course? Can I just do this really quick? Go for it. I just want. Okay. We probably have to go talk to her first anyway, but. Can I see something really quick? Yeah. This is gonna be key to something. Doesn't know why she wrote it, right? Mm -hmm. He clearly does though. Cause I mean, besides the fact that they are in some weird way. <laughs> right. Um. Come on, brain. Piece this together. No, that's not going to help uh, us. Doll mm -hmm. burning. Doesn't know why. Doesn't know why they're devil worshippers. Third eye flyer. Third eye. 
<laughs> what about uh, all the scrying stuff and all that? Whoa! Right there. Yes? Yeah. No. Because it doesn't just because he was interested in the occult doesn't mean that it was part of the. Ah, dang it. Well, hold on. If he used to read about it and he has one, he used to have a black mirror, right? Mm -hmm. So then can't we just say that? No. no. But. All right. All right. Let's, let's go. go talk to yeah, her. Let's go let's talk go to find her. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Man, that I mean that I believe 100% is a a thing. Like him saying, "Oh, I don't know why they would call us devil worshippers." That's that's what we're going to get him on. I just don't yeah. know what. Could that be where Lisa yeah. lives? Run down house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? Lisa. Try it. Lisa. It's so quaint. Look at your sweet little house, Lisa. <laughs> the whoosh noise. Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. I promise I won't take long. But I might come back repeatedly throughout the night. I'll yes. just go in here, yes? I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What? Did you want to ask? I just wanted to ask you, did you know Kate Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Devil worshippers. They're making demons appear. What? They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. Where could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Any mirror. The scrying mirror! The scrying. They stay inside you. So... How did you get rid of them? I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. So oh, shit. Oh, oh. I just don't look. I put all the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without seeing the other person. What? She's like me, but older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled, with a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm her. I'm sorry, I, I have to go now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got your key. Hey, hey, your key is still inside the. Uh, we'll so just take that. I guess we back. can't go back in there now. I guess not. But we have a new thing to ask people about. Yes. Can we go talk to the chief really quick? Yeah, let's do it, dude. If this story goes full supernatural, that'd be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. Amazing. And then the lightsaber battle. <laughs> ah, Jinx. Ah. I knew you would come. My young apprentice. Really, Chief? Nothing? All right, boss. 
that's cool. We didn't need you. Yeah, we definitely didn't need any advice on demons. <laughs> Send the National Guard or the British equivalent. Send the Brit Couple British more Guard. That's okay. <laughs> All right. He would know Do about this. Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own. Doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? She came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times. Got talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much. Except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. She was just like most people, really, blind to herself. Except she's more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Said the guy who's been staring into a fire for five hours. hours. He's hours. just like, yes, <laughs> wash over me, flames. I you. see I'll myself <laughs> dancing every night as the fire flickers into oblivion. All righty, then. You have fun, you. Yep. Cool. Oh, I can't wait to see what Palpatine's going to say about <laughs> yeah. this. Uh, yeah, we're just going to few more questions, please. He's Thank just going to eye roll at us real hard. <laughs> Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Devil worship? Uh, Satanism? Am I missing something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. You were misinformed. We're a training company. We're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine, thanks. Nope, we're good. Hmm. All right, I don't know that... <sighs> that might be something. I think Lisa's accusation is going to link up a lot better with uh, Rand. Rand, yeah. Thank you. Probably be back later. Ooh, the wife might know something, though. Oh, true. I also want to hear what Simon says. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 We're Strangely, he just repeats himself. <laughs> All right. Press the ring a ring -a Ask you a couple more things, please. Hmm... Ask about this item. Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? As in black magic? No, why? Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas? Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why, who's been talking? Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. Oh, you're such a, like, succubus demon. <laughs> she is... She is the one behind it all. That's all for the moment. I'm Thank convinced you. of it. I said from the beginning, she's the one. And at the end, she's going to turn to a demon. We have to fight her with the lightsaber. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. And Palpatine will ride her. <laughs> her, de her, her, her. Her demon form. I want to see that more than you know. <laughs> if that doesn't happen, we need fan art on that immediately. Yes, please. That'll be on the back of our, of our shirt. <laughs> The front will be people holding hands, like weird clip art. But the back will be like a super high detail. <laughs> like, who made this shirt? This is awful. With no explanation. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh, Emma. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Emma. Have you ever heard about there being devil worship at Atlas? Devil worship? No. Definitely not. Who said that? It's just something I heard. Okay, thanks. Simon. Okay. Be back later on if that's okay. Ask them about this. What do you know about devil worship? <laughs> devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> Devil worship for Atlas. Nah, there's none of that. 
All right, let's go talk to Rand. Interesting. Thank you. Probably be back later. You figure he would? Uh, I don't know. What? I don't. I don't know how to judge Simon yet. Me neither. He could just be really oblivious, or like the perfect assassin. Murderer. Yeah, like he's just so deep undercover in his own mind. Ask about a few more things, please. We're going to get this dude. We're going to get, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you there. have spoken to Lisa Blint? You would be. She's you told been us telling to. you all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has... Psychological problems. Diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were, um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's <laughs> frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't trust a word she says. So you are saying there has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's Untrue. not something I particularly know anything about. Untrue. Oh, so we don't got him now. Anyone ever having worshipped the devil at Atlas? We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Get him. Get, get him, you. Jesse. Get okay, him, Jesse. Okay. Get him. Doesn't know anything about devil worship. Bam. Mm -hmm. And then. Hold on, here, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Amir. You used to read about black magic and you satanic rituals. Bitch, we got you now. We got you. Uh -huh. So you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but you don't know anything about devil worship? <laughs> well, obviously. I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, that you claim not to know anything about it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Look, we do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's all. And some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. Uh. Didn't he say that they specifically don't try to make people uncomfortable? Ugh, I don't know. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test. Uh, medical he history, did say psychological that. issues, that kind of thing. Any medication that they have used in the past. Any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. It's not a test, though. That's just Basically, a form. it's just yeah. to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Well, touch wood so far, yes. Can I keep a copy of this? Hmm. 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 I wonder how much importance they actually give to this test. And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? Use some disturbing techniques. Mm. Um, Do you use some disturbing techniques? And then techniques. Paul's theft stunt, I think it's in there. Which one? Paul's theft stunt, I think it's in there. Nope, down, yeah. Uh, no. What about Emma's guilt? Uh, I thought it was further up. Maybe it is. Auto hypnosis, maybe, or. Um, what would it be under? Look under. Uh, look at auto hypnosis. Whoa! Where is that? What am I missing? Down, down right. further. Yeah. Um, no, where's the where's the bit where it's like you there, man. right? What am I missing? It's from cover mask. <laughs> it's finally come together. It's homebrew. <laughs> His homebrew. 
No, there's too many things connected to Simon that haven't linked to anything. <laughs> right? He's Yeah, he's going to be important. All right. Emma's guilt, the theft. Man, I know we oh, saw wait, that before, wait, go right? Back, go back to bag used and mugging. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. One down, yeah. Teaching students how to act. Mm. <sighs> Come on now. I don't know. Well, we have a we have a new thing to ask people about, right? We do. Okay. We definitely do. Guess we should just do that. Uh, right. That's it for the time being. Thank you. Well, I guess. No one's in there, right? Have we looked in there this hour? We have, but let's let's try again. Look, stuff changed midway through last it time. It definitely did. Nope. Okay. <laughs> not this time, though. Not this time. No, no. So she's not going to be there, right? Okay. Nope, she's gone. Nice cameo. Good job. Very nice acting as he stared into a mirror. You did good. You did good. I'm impressed. You're probably going to be the key to the whole thing. Oh, we're going to find her Couple dead. Questions, if that's okay. No. Mm. He doesn't know anything about it. Thank you. Probably I guess that later. makes sense. Interesting. Okay. So. So they introduced the aptitude test after Lisa left, right? Yes. Okay. In order to prevent future Lisas. Right. A few more questions, please. Can you tell me a bit about this, please? Uh, it's the Atlas aptitude test. What do you want to know? What does it test, exactly? It's a test uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Hmm. Lisa. You are well informed. And what do you think it was that disturbed her? I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? Uh, we increased the entrance age to 21. Well, wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and suing us, did we? Hmm. Okay. I don't know that any of that has anything to do with anything else he said so far. Yeah, couldn't handle the. Let's course. just keep going down the list and see who we can find. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I I imagine Simon might have something to say about this. Right? Because he yeah. wouldn't have taken the test. Maybe he might have even been there when Lisa was there. Madam. Uh, ask you a couple more things, please. She's like, I have to attend a bar. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I God. have a job. Do you know anything about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it? Try it less. What do you want to know? Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. She does this really cheeky look at the end of a lot okay. of these. Look, I like, like it. I like that cheeky look. I know, me too. But she's I'm winning to me over. Like, what's? If you turn out to be a murderer, I'll be all right with it. <laughs> murderous demon. Yeah. Suck and you by murderous. An adorable you murderous mind. demon. Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not. Not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests, you know, fitness and stuff like that. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that's it for now. Thank Simon's going to be the key. I got you, Simon. I don't know how or why. Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was all just questions about... Uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. But they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. What? Hmm. That is a good point. I just don't... It would be easy to lie on the form. 
And they want people to, like, that's part of it. Like, we want you to lie and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's head up the path. Yeah, let's walk around. Was that someone, like, alerting people that we were coming? Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo mm, let's go here. Of course, there's nothing. Nothing. So we will As go per use. here. And go to the jetty. Just in case. There's that couple. There's that sweet little couple. Mm -hmm. Waiting for more people to die. We have our fingers crossed. <laughs> the night's still young. Mm -hmm. Okay, head towards Atlas. Well, shoot. Should we look around in Atlas again? I guess. I'm thinking, yes. Hmm. Nothing. So who's the one we go after here? Should we try to talk to the chief? Now that we have a bunch more deeds. Good call. Maybe he actually would answer us now. Uh, Chief. <laughs> They're making people uh, fill out forms about themselves. Yeah. Thoughts. Oh, hey. Make it interesting, Jenks. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. Very strange. There were several students sitting around a fire taking it in turns to burn handmade woolen dolls. You're hoping I'm gonna say tell me more, aren't you? I'm changing my mind. Ryan had an explanation for it, as did Simon. He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto-hypnosis on the course. Oh, uh, what's that? Self-hypnosis. Hypnotizing yourself. Uh. Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Is it dangerous? Well, not in theory. Nobody I've spoken to seems to think so. Well, if it disturbed this Lisa so much, then it can't be all that safe. I, mean, can it? I suppose it depends on your psychological state to begin with, but I'll look into it. Okay, keep it up, Jax. Always do, Chief. Always do. Oh, very funny, very funny. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so... They want us to focus on focus on auto hypnosis plus yeah Lisa's mental state. So who do we target with that? The Rands, I think. I mean, should we just go back to Atlas and see yeah, if I we don't, can figure I, something out? He's got to have something, right? I don't think Paul would know anything about it. I don't think so either. Okay, how are we gonna get him? I gotta click uh, the door, assuming that you know you what? I'll just knock with my <laughs> cursor. Okay, Lisa's okay. accusation. What does he say about her? Um, yeah, let's do some just. Okay, so maybe we do disturbing techniques. Um, believes it doesn't really work. Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way. Mm. Claims auto hypnosis not a major part of the course. Oh, man. Hmm. I feel like there's something in there though. Lisa had psychological problems. Lisa asked for a refund. Doesn't know why she wrote that. Lisa had psychological problems. Hmm. Absolute test. Lisa was a fantasist. Offered her private psychological treatment. Man, what are we missing? Oh no. I 
I don't know. I don't just either. don't know. Does it say under a black scrying mirror? Uh, where is that? Uh, down thing? further. Down Ooh. further. Black scrying there. mirror. Hmm. Okay. Can I see? Yeah. Okay, let's see. These demons are possessing her. Yes, into Be the microphone. Be believe, believes, believes, uh -huh. believes demons are possessing her. <laughs> you lean so far in. I know, because I gotta be you, all up in the shit. You pass the microphone. I know, I'm sorry. And then we're like, into the desk. <laughs> you almost crawled up on the desk next to the monitor, like, It's true, you, you guys missed it, but it really did happen. It didn't prompt them to introduce an aptitude test. Disturbing techniques. Ah, dog. How do we get her? Him. Anyone. How do we get him? Because I'm starting to believe after talking to both, after talking to uh, both of father and son team, the dynamic duo, as it were, I'm feeling like all of the occult shit is coming from Rand. Or Ryan. Can Thank we go you. talk to Paul Probably really quick? Later. Yeah. I'm just realizing, I think this whole time I've been calling Ryan, Ryan Rand? but yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. It's He is who he is. True. It you're is just, his last name, so like whatever. just acting like a friend. Like, I don't yeah. call him Ryan. I call him Rand. Rand. Hey, Yo, what up? Yo, what up, Rando? Rando. The amazing Rando. I didn't encourage Emma to criticize the birthmark. Hmm. Lisa couldn't handle the course techniques. There's no truth and no interest in the occult. Anyone was prosecuted for it. Mm. Once tried to date her. Uh, look at the auto hypnosis right above that too. Impossible to be hurt or damaged by it. Hmm. And it's not possible to force students to be hypnotized. Mm. Possible to be hurt or damaged. Mm. What does that aptitude test say again? Couldn't handle the course techniques? Do you think this is something... It doesn't relate to anything, but mm -hmm. it's weird that we give you like this information. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will you will you click? Oh, sorry. Uh, go down to the very last one. Mm-hmm. After your test. And then couldn't handle the course techniques. Just just for my peace of mind. Ah! Oh. Wait, what? Why would that work? So nobody has ever been affected by auto hypnosis, except Lisa. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. That's why we introduced the test. But the hypnosis was the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? Nonsense. Kate was enjoying every minute of it. She couldn't get enough of it. Really? She was full of the joys of life. Bubbly, confident, flirty. With who? You mean with whom? With whom? Pretty much everybody. Including me, as I remember. Really? And uh, did you respond? I don't get into relationships with students, Inspector. Company policy. It's not professional. Untrue. You what? You tried to date? Interesting admission that Kate flirted with him. Oh. There's no way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. Yeah, wait. wait. How do we... What did that change? I don't know. Uh, something in here. Avoids relationships, so Students, but... and then he tried to date Emma. Once tried to date Emma. You lying butt. Yeah, I what the nailed heck? Nailed it. Yeah. So you avoid relationships with students, except for Emma, who you tried to date. Oh, come on, Inspector. That was a long time ago. And what about Kate Vine? Did you try to date her or not? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Inspector. Kate was an exceptionally clever girl. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she knew how to get it. 
You mean that Kate approached you? It wouldn't surprise me if she was playing everyone in the group. Kate had more enemies than you'd think. She was a very, very manipulative young woman. Oh! oh! No cheats used! Ten o'clock, it's getting late. I'm going to have to pick up the pace if I'm going to solve this by midnight. Oh, shit! Ha! Ah, We're so close! So close. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're going to take you to the future. Then we're going to get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're going to take you to the future. Then we're going to get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, Arrows 4. Me, Jess Cox, number one out of the plan. The me, me, the tip top shape. I'm swell shape. And I'm going to make a fortune for my ass for Shut the balls up! UFO Commander, we are the future. We're going to take you to the future. Then we're going to get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from. Shut the balls up! UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from. Shut the balls up! Give me that! No! 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 <laughs>